All right, Rich, let's turn it over to you. I, it just feels cold this week. My body is just cold from inside and out. It is <laughs> I'm cold. Over it. Is your skin extra dry, too? Yes. I don't know. I feel like... This need, last week, it's been cold and dry. I need lotion. Well, it is. Well, scaly figured, hands. Well, when you go inside <laughs> and you heat up the air, you know, then by warming up that air, the amount of moisture in it stays about the same, and so you get much drier air inside your homes mm. during cold weather. Wow. Actually, if you, heat I them, never, if you don't never heat them, them, you don't have really low. <laughs> so, and you're just cold. And then you're just cold. Yeah, but your skin's beautiful. It glows. It's wonderful. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, weather-wise, we got up to a balmy 40 degrees yesterday uh, out at SeaTac, which is pretty typical of what we saw around the area. It wasn't quite as cold yesterday morning because we had the cloud cover and those few snow flurries that were around, so it held a little bit of heat in. They'll hit 27 there at SeaTac. Uh, we're down colder today, down in the low to mid-20s in a lot of places starting off the day, and we are going to just warm up a couple degrees, but that warming is going to continue into the weekend, and we're going to have uh, some nice, a nice uh, sunrise and sunset today as those creep ever uh, farther away. We will be moving on to uh, daylight saving time two weeks from this coming Sunday. So we'll be watching that uh, evening sunset get much later suddenly. But again, that's two weeks away. Spring, however, only 23 days away. And there is warmer weather inside, so that's good news. But also wetter weather, which is good because we do need some more uh, rain down here in the lowlands and definitely need to get more snowpack going up in the mountains. Pretty morning out there, though. You can see that uh, almost crescent moon out there is blooming large above uh, Everett. Doesn't actually look real out there. It looks oversized for some reason, but sign that the skies are clear. Clear skies up and down the sound. Uh, there's a, quite a bit of frost in some of the outlying roads, so keep that in mind as you're uh, traveling around. Shantae will update you on the road conditions here in just a second. Temperatures you can see mostly in the 20s, a lot of low 20s down in the south sound starting off the day. And uh, the good news is not much in the way of any wind, so we're not looking at any wind chills out there. Satellite image does show changes headed away, a whole shift in the weather pattern in the Pacific. In fact, our storms, which have been brushing by us to the north, coming out of the northwest, starting to come up out of the southwest, which means more warmer temperatures and wetter systems for that matter with uh, rain in the lowlands and snow in the mountains. Those snow levels are going to probably run around 3,500 to 4,000 feet uh, through the next couple of days and they'll finally drop down to Snoqualmie Pass probably later in the day on Sunday. But that's going to move on through. We'll see another, ser another series of systems moving in kind of every other day. It looks like through the week next week, a little bit more normal weather pattern for us. So for today, pretty simple forecast. Sunny, cold this morning. Temperatures this afternoon getting to the low to mid 40s. Tomorrow, we might see some filter sun in the morning, but then increasing clouds, chance of rain moving in probably late afternoon or early, early evening for most of Puget Sound. We'll be into the coastal beaches during the afternoon. Showers and breezy on Sunday. Another rainy day Monday. Just a couple showers around with a little bit of sun on Tuesday. Rainy Wednesday. Showers and sun breaks Thursday. Highs run a little below normal, but uh, definitely much warmer than they have been getting into the uh, upper 40s to around 50 degrees.